figure out how to customize your go high level dashboard slash the colors of your account without knowing how to code well that is, this is the video for you. So we're actually going to cover that at the end of this video. But what I want to do is for those who are brand new, maybe just sign up with my affiliate link. Or if you haven't, make sure to do that below in the description. And then even upgrade if you already have an account and upgrade to the 497 account because you're going to love it. Okay, so I went straight in. Somebody asked me, like, where did I start? I went straight in at 497. But if that's not doable, then, of course, you can go down to 297. You have unlimited sub accounts that you can create and you're going to want to make sure that you create a sub account for your agency as a business. And then, of course, you'll have all of your other accounts underneath that. And if you want to learn more about the pricing, of course, I have another video on that. But in this video, we're going to go oh, cover how to change your logo at the top left hand corner so it doesn't have go high levels logo. And I just want to make sure also that you know how to white label like truly white label the using your own app dot your domain name and not using app dot go high level because you don't want to send people that right you don't want to make you want to make sure that you have your domain name already purchased and then you have a app dot or subdomain called app dot you know you could actually name it anything but most people do app dot your domain name dot com and that's where you're going to send people to log into your SaaS business account okay and that so how they're going to get in and so we're going to make sure that you have that all set up as well as changing your logo on the top left corner and then we're going to finish it all off by make, changing the colors because i've been wanting to actually just simple change like you can there's a light in the dark version but there's this one simple change that i want to do with my logo on the top left corner and another thing about the size of the logo is that i've tried to have my whole the word the whole text word out and it was just too squished and long uh, over there so i want to actually put my uh, little icon on the top left corner like how high level has their like arrows there i just want to put my my icon logo and i just want to change this to a dark dark black like i don't want this kind of a faded gray color so that's what we're going to do and if you want to get more fancier you can with this Chrome extension I'm going to share with you at the end. So first of all, you're in your agency level um, area. And this gets confusing sometimes because people are like agency, agency account, like you're on your agency dashboard right now. This is where we're at. And so this is where you're just going to have access to some of the um, features. And mine may look different than yours if you're not on the pro because I have the SaaS configurator up here, which makes it so that you can make your own price plans and rebuild your customers. So um, that's the 497 plan. Um, but for now, we're going to make just want to make sure that you understand where we're at in the agency dashboard. We're going to go to settings on the bottom left hand corner. And then we're going to go to company on the left hand side. And what we're going to do now is upload your logo. Number one, you want to make sure that your logo is 350 by 180 pixels. And you might be like, what does that even mean? How does, what is that? Pixels, PX. So I don't know what even, it's basically these tiny squares that make up the whole sizing. So I actually just go to Canva and then upload my logo there or whoever designed your logo. If you could ask them to send it to you within that size parameter so it's nice and you know centered uh, but usually what i'll do is go to canva and then i'll just like go over here and then create a size like get a custom like board made with that right sizing on there let me go back to the home page you can um, and i have the pro version so if you don't have that you may want to upgrade but if you already have someone who designed it before just go to custom size and then type in 350 by 180 and create a new design okay so i uploaded my logo make sure it was centered within that size and we're just going to upload it right here so we're going to click upload and go to god funnels there we are so now oh boop, it's changed so now we're all professional so we're going to scroll down to the bottom and click save and update company just all the way to the bottom, update company. And then what we're going to do is the white label part. So let me scroll back up. Okay. So let's see. Hold on. On here. So under the white label domain, mine's, I've already sent mine's. So yours is probably going to just be empty there. You're just going to type in app.yourdomainname.com. 
and it may say like verify or or you know it was a plus button here it'll say domain and so it's going to uh, open up your let's click on, click on it it's going to fill in the subdomain here and then it's going you can click continue if you're logged in if you bought it from godaddy or cloudflare or something it'll start actually going through and trying to to connect to the um, server or the place that you bought your domain name if it can't recognize where you purchased it from like sometimes i've bought into my domains from namecheap you're just going to click add record manually Let's see if i can make up one add record manually then it's going to give you the required values so you're going to create in that namecheap go to wherever you can go down to the dns manage dns and type and go to add a new record click c name add an app as the host name and add this value whatever value it comes up with you copy this and then you go ahead and verify your records you copy that into your you know your domains management system and then verified records so if you want to know how to um, connect subdomains i'll do that in, probably in another video if you if you guys really are stuck on that part but it should be very fairly simple just go into your domain to register if you need to google like how to connect your cname records with your uh, domain registrar there's probably uh, instructions on that so there from then it's really simple literally it connects once you verify you may have to verify click that button verify a couple times sometimes it takes uh, two or three times to refresh well once that's done now they can go to your app dot go your domain name dot com to log in so it's really nice they won't be able to see anything high level all they know is your business and then it'll be go straight in and they will be able to log in from there so that's super exciting okay so i want to make sure that you have that set up next we're going to change the color i just simply want that left hand side to be black so uh, there's a couple other theme um ser services or other um accounts that offer that to to add some code here for you but i i was watching a couple of videos as well you know I, I youtube too and i found this a css editor in the chrome store so you just go it's the, this one with this logo you search for visual css editor download that chrome extension and once it's downloaded you'll get it in your extensions list and usually what i would do is like you know put a bookmark on it or pin it so it comes out to the top and then what we're going to do over here is we're going to click on that Chrome extension while we're logged into app.go high level. I think it's a little glitchy if you're logged into your new, you know, app subdomain. So we're going to be in go high level and I'm going to click on that and like this. And what we're going to do, there's this drop down will show up is that we're going to click on the area that you want to change the color. So I want this whole section. So I'm going to like click over here and highlight that whole left hand navigation bar. And I'm going to click background and I'm going to check the black. See how awesome and beautiful that is. You could also do get real fancy if you want to do the gradients. If you could glare gradients, you can click on these different colors down here with the gradient. I was kind of looking around and seeing if I've seen anything that I like. If I don't necessarily like too much brightness. Let's see, that might work, but I think I just want to go all black. Maybe I'm in my emo phase or something. <laughs> so that's that i just wanted to share with you that cool tool i'm sure it can do more i'm just going to go with all black here and then all i'm going to do is click export grab this code here tiny little code i'm going to scroll down to the custom css we're going to paste that there and we're going to just update company Day and then we're we're done. So I'm gonna see if we can log out and log back into my my app and it, you know, click click X out of here and refresh and we're all and refresh and we're all good. We're back to the black, all black and uh, blue logo. So the blue logo really like pops out with the black. I really like that and that that's there we are. So I'm so excited.
And there we are. So I'm just super excited to be able to have that simple coding really fast. I know nothing about code. So for me to be able to do that real quick and just change out the colors that I want to, there are other services that I highly recommend. There's a company called HL Pro Tools that also gives you access to a theme builder where you can really go all out and change out the colors for your dashboard and other colors for your clients accounts too if they want to if you want to brand it for themselves or kind of have something fun so that they have their colors in there you could do that too i highly recommend that company not only for that theme builder that they offer but they also offer 24 7 chat support so actually let me show with you so actually, let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to actually log back into my got my my domain name with my white label domain. So you can see my logo got showed up there. And then let me log back into my actual white label and show you what the chat widget looks like. I think it's super cool to have a chat widget at the top here that's branded to you. Having a theme builder that can really customize even more. Without knowing code, you could actually use high level shell pro tools theme builder right here on the top left. I have have access to that as well. So I just wanted to share with you that as well as having access to a 24 seven chat support for your clients. So as you grow, you're not going to be the one that needs to know everything as a smart business owner. You don't need to know everything about everything. You just have to know enough to know that it's valuable. And so there's an entire library resource here as well as a chat support where they can message support 24 seven. There are, uh, will, will be someone within minutes as well as you can email them. And then if they need to, if your clients need to be on Zoom with, uh, with someone to walk them through something, they can do that as well too. So highly recommend i have am a, a partner and affiliate so if you click on the link below in the description you can go ahead and learn more i have actually recently started working with them as well too so i'm super excited i've been a customer and now i'm also working with them too so i'm really excited to share more about hl pro tools and all the tools that they give you it's own it's just is game changer for you as a business owner but they also can help you support you on onboarding your clients. And also you get an entire, so you have the knowledge base here in the chat support, but I'm actually have linked a special account with uh, a subdomain with the help bar. So I actually embedded it right here inside of my account too. So if you're a SaaS customer of mine, you also get access to the entire, you know, library of how to's with videos, step-by-steps on how to use the software as well too. So you can search on what you need to do here and get exactly what you need 24 seven, as you know, I know it sounds, seems like I'm up 24 seven, but <laughs> I need, your girl needs some sleep. I'm getting old and wrinkled here. So especially with the sun here in Hawaii, but anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching this video guys. If you have questions about customizing your, your high level HL uh, business girl, make sure to join my uh, school account. So I actually did actually start a school group just for the community here that are watching my YouTube videos. And for those of you who are my affiliates, we have a weekly call, call that I answer all of your questions. We have, you know, more of a lengthier question or a custom, something custom that you want to create for your business with high level. Let me know too. We can book a call and see if I can help you. That would be a more customized package if you need to need more additional help other than like a quick 15 minute group call it's actually well 30 minutes to an hour group call but depending on how many questions we are we want to make sure that we get through everybody's questions all right so thanks for watching again if you have any questions again you know where to find me and we'll see you on the inside much love and aloha we'll see you on the next video